one player that some of the League Two teams should sign during this transfer window. We're going to go through some of the teams and mention some players that should join some of the clubs. Now we're going to be starting with the club Stockport County, made it to the League 2 final at Wembley and unfortunately lost to Car Isle. Now on June the 14th there was a tweet stating that the former Man United defender Phil Jones has been training with Stockport County. So far there is no further news on him actually signing for Stockport County. Obviously, seeing Phil Jones playing in League 2 would definitely be a huge plus for Stockport County. I mean, look, they made it to the League 2 playoffs finals at Wembley without a Premier League centre-back. Just imagine what they could do with a Premier League centre-back like Phil Jones. Furthermore, we have my club, Doncaster Rovers. Relegated from League 1 last season. On January the 22nd in 2014, we announced the return of our of the returning player, Billy Sharp, and to see him return for the third time would be amazing. And because of his recent departure from Sheffield United, they have been recently promoted to the Premier League. Now, Doncaster Rovers have already signed a few players so far this season, in addition to a several new contracts for several of their upcoming free agents. Starting with three contracts, the goalkeeper, Keeper, Lewis Jones, which may I just say on the last home game of last season played phenomenal. I was there for that game and if you want to go watch that video, I'll link it up here or up here or wherever it is on the screen uh, or you can just go on, onto my channel and watch it. We played, who do we play? I can't remember who we played now. Um, we played Colchester United, that was it. Uh, it was a 1-0 win. Um, it was a uh, crossing to the box in the, in the first half and we scored and we got the win and Lewis, Lewis Jones was, was absolutely phenomenal that game. Game. Definitely kept us in the game. If it wasn't for him, we probably would have lost that game. If we had Mitchell in goal, it's over. We would not have won that game. But yeah, Lewis Jones uh, has got his contract renewed for next season. And then obviously Ben Bottomley, Charlie Seaman and Jack Goodman have all signed new contracts, joining midfielder Zane Westbrook. But furthermore, to create competition between the sticks, the club has the club started its signings by announcing the arrival of Doug Custodian, Ian Lawyer. Next to join from Rotherham United were veteran defender Richard Wood, fullbacks Jamie Steffrey from Hartlepool, Jack Senior from Halifax Town and George Broad, Broad Bent from Sheffield United uh, as an underclosed fee. But overall, all of us on Rovers fans really do want the return of Billy Sharp. It would be unreal to see him back in that at our club. At the end of the day, he's a free agent. It would be amazing to come and see. It would be amazing to get him back on the Eco Power Stadium field and get him played in the squad. But yeah, I mean, so far, Doncaster Rovers have had a uh, an absolutely phenomenal uh, pre-season with transfers. The transfer window's not even open yet and we have made several transfers already. Yeah, fair play to us as a club. Next up on the list we have got Bradford City. Bradford City will be hoping for a frightful summer transfer window as they rest up and go against their bid to finally rise out of the League 2. Now unfortunately for them, Mark Hughes and Bradford City were defeated by an eventful playoff winners, Car Isle, in the semi-finals of the playoffs the League 2. Now they're definitely going to be thriving to get that, you know, maybe top three spot or at least make the playoffs again like they did last season. The Yorkshire Club have also renewed their contracts for their main striker, Andy Cook. Now, I'm no Bradford fan at all. I despise them as a club. They are a, they are a massive rivalry between us and Doncaster. We are the Yorkshire Derby. But um, Andy Cook was definitely robbed of getting the FIFA team of the season. That man played unreal last season. When I went to a Bradford City game at home, he bagged a goal. Adam Clayton, our ex Doncaster Rovers midfielder, put the ball into the box from a corner. Andy Cook headed it in. And yeah, let's just say the Bradford City fans went wild. Let me just show you a little video now of my point of view of when the Bradford City fans scored. Unreal support from them, uh, they would definitely be looking to get some good transfers in this window. We look to get a few more centre back because yeah, let's just face it, they've already got an absolutely unreal strike force. And also a great goalkeeper in between the sticks. They've got that amazing goalkeeper, what's his name? I think it's Harry Lewis, correct me if I'm wrong, ha Harry Lewis between the sticks. They've already got a solid squad going into the next season to be honest with you guys. Promoted from non-league, we have got Wrexham that are definitely going to be pushing for that promotion up to League One next season. With the series, welcome to Wrexham, bringing in goalkeeper Ben Foster who actually used to play for Wrexham years ago. Also played for Man United and recently actually played for Watford. Goalkeeper is unreal. He's still amazing now at such an old age. And he has also re-signed for Wrexham for another season. So yeah, I will be able to be seeing him next season. I'll be filming that as well, by the way. So you'll be able to see all of that over here on the channel. 
Now, there was talks of Wrexham signing Gareth Bale. If that's true, then, wow, that's just shocking. It really is shocking. What a series on Netflix or whatever it's on, Disney Plus or whatever it's streamed on, can actually bring in so much attention from professional footballers. See, Bale has recently retired. He's been taking on a lot of golf. But, yeah, it'd be really good if he could now join Wrexham and maybe help them push for the promotion to the League One. Obviously, Bale will still be an unreal footballer. Him on the wings and then obviously Gareth and then and then obviously Ben Foster in goal it's just gonna be a broken team for our league and now one more team that I'd like to state before I you know go off and edit this video is Notts County they are also a recently promoted team from the non-league to league two and they have got our old midfielder John Bostock amazing player when he played for us two years ago when, when we were in league one he helped us out massively in the midfield but I just don't know if they have what it takes to even get mid-table. I feel like watching them play in the, in the non-league, they were amazing. But also, some of their players won't be able to cope with the stress of League 2. It's a massive step going from non-league to League 2. You have to understand that some of the players in League 2 are the top of the top. You know, you've got goalkeepers like Foster, Harry Lewis. You've got um, Lewis Jones. You've got all the big goalkeepers. You've also got amazing strikers in the Premier. You've got, you know, Andy Cook. You've got, you've got Andy Cook, you've got the striker for Stockport, you know, teams are going to have to make a lot of transfers to be able to keep up with the rest of the players in our league. Now that is it for part one of this kind of series sort of thing that I want to try and do. Any other teams comment down below and I'll be sure to do your team. Obviously teams like Harrogate Town or MK Dons, there's been no news on yet, so you know, comment down below your team and I'll really look into players that you're looking into sign. But except from that, I'll see you all in the next video.